Hey girls, it's Katie. I have these dumbbells because today we are gonna be burning it up with some yoga sculpt. If you've never done yoga sculpt before, that's okay, this is the perfect place to start. So it's basically a traditional vinyasa flow, but we're gonna add in some weights so that not only do you get the benefits of yoga, but you also get an awesome sculpting workout that is gonna burn calories, build muscle, and leave you feeling so good. So grab a light set of dumbbells, whatever you're comfortable with, and let's go ahead and get started on the mat. All right, girls, so we're gonna start in a downward facing dog. Hands are gonna plant on the mat. And if you haven't been in a down dog before, the best way to figure out how to get there is to find a high plank first. So hands stack under the shoulders, spreading the fingertips wide, pushing into the mat. Draw the heels away from your body and draw the belly button in nice and tight. So here in the high plank, lift your hips up, pressing them back, and that is a perfect down dog for you. So if you're ever unsure, Go to that plank first and you'll find it. So coming into your down dog, find a nice stretch through the back, draw the belly in, take a deep inhale breath, exhale, let it go. And while we're breathing here, if you notice anything strange in my office, I changed up a little bit. I want you to tell me what's different in the comments below, see if you can find it. But focus on the workout first. Exhale, let it go. And inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, look to the top of your mat. Step the feet together between the hands. Big toes touch. Sliver between those heels. Sit the hips low, getting them in line with those knees. All your weight comes into the heels. Draw the belly button in, and then inhale, arms overhead to chair pose. Exhale, let it go. Flying those arms back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep that belly pulled in. Inhale, chair. And exhale, fly. One more. Inhale, chair. On the exhale, bring your hands to heart. Squeeze your thighs together. Lift your heels off the floor. Keep squeezing those legs together tight. Hold it so a little bit lower. And pulse it out for eight, seven, yes, six. Feel that booty burn. And those quads. Three more, two, and one. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Crown of the head reaches forward. And exhale, fold. Plant your hands on the mat. Step back into a high plank. We're gonna go a high to low chaturanga. If you have the strength in your arms, you can stay on the toes. Otherwise, drop to your knees. Inhale or halfway down. Elbows squeeze into the side body. And then inhale up. Top of the feet press into the mat. Lifting the thighs and the knees up off the mat. And exhale, down dog. Take an inhale breath. Exhale it out. On your inhale, lift the right leg high, keeping the hips square to the ground. So drop that right hip down, draw the belly in, and lift that right heel. On the exhale, bring your right knee to right elbow, nice and tight. And we're going to take eight windshield wipers. So over the left and right for eight, seven. Try to touch that left elbow and breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, sweep it through, landing softly on the heel into a low lunge, grabbing your weight. Take an inhale, breath. Exhale it out. Bring the weight into that right heel, squeeze the thighs together, and inhale, weight to heart, coming up to a crescent. Exhale, weight come through the shoulders, press it up. Inhale, weight to heart, hinging forward. So we have a few options here. You can stay in your lunge, or you can hinge forward, lifting, that left foot off the ground, finding balance. So find a spot a few inches in front of you on the ground to focus. Find the balance here. Take an inhale breath, exhale it out. Inhale, bring the weight down in front of you. We're gonna take a narrow arm row. You can tap the foot and exhale, squeeze the elbows back tight. Inhale, exhale for eight, seven. Drawing those elbows together, you got it. For four. Inhaling through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. On one, hold it up here, hold, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale the weight to the heart, slowly land. Take an inhale breath, exhale it out. One more inhale. Exhaling to warrior two, keeping a micro bend in those elbows. Deep bend in the knee. Inhale. And exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, weights to heart. Finding goal post arms. Right at shoulder height. 
You're gonna take an inhale as you come down deep. On the exhale, rotate the palms toward your face, bringing the weights together. Inhale and exhale, good. Eight, strong arm. Seven, working the chest, the shoulders. You got it. For four, Woo. three, two, yes you can. Last one, inhale, weights to heart. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, weights to heart. Exhale, reverse warrior. Punching straight up this time. Inhale, weights to heart. Pivot, set the weights down. Plant your hands, step back. High to low, chaturanga. Inhale, the up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, come to your knees. Sit the hips back, child pose. Breaths in your child's pose, inhaling and exhale, letting the hips sink a little deeper. On your next inhale, coming all the way up. We have one more round on the left side, so I'm going to turn around so you can still see me. Moving my weights with me. And we're going to meet in a down dog. So coming back to that down dog, fingers wide, hips high, press the chest toward the thighs. Find your breath. Long inhale through the nose. Exhale it out of the mouth. Letting all that heat out of the body. Inhale. And exhale. Good. This time, on your inhale, lift your left leg high. Drop that left hip down. Reach a little higher through the heel. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Nice and tight. And take it all the way to the right for our windshield length. We have eight. Seven. Let me hear that breath. You got it. For four, three, two, and one. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, sweep it through, low lunge. Take an inhale breath, grabbing your weight, squeezing the inner thighs together. Take another exhale. Inhale, weights to heart. Find your posture. Exhale, crescent lunge. Inhale, weights to heart, hinging forward. Again, you can stay here or coming up. Lifting that left leg high. Find your balance. Inhale, tap the toe. Exhale, narrow arm row. Squeeze it back for eight, seven. Yes, you got it. Feel that back working. You have four, three, two. Hold up on one. Squeeze and pull. Lift eight, seven. Core is tight. For four, three, two. Add one, inhale, slowly land. Exhale to warrior two. Reaching, micro bend in those elbows. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, sink it down. Good. Inhale, bring the weights to heart. This time, weights are gonna come down in front. We're gonna take an inhale in the lunge, and then an upright row, just about the chest, keeping the elbows lower than those shoulders, and inhale down. Exhale up. You have eight, seven, my hair is a hot mess right now. Five, we just work with it. Part of the workout, right? Three, two, and one, good. Inhale, weight to heart, exhale, warrior two. Inhale to heart, exhale, punch it up, reverse warrior. Inhale, weight to heart, pivot, plant, set your hands down, high to low chaturanga. Inhaling the up dog, feel that stretch. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, breath. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, drop to your knees, spread them wide, sit back, child pose. Taking a few long breaths here, slowing down that heart rate. Take one final breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, slowly walk your hands up by the knees. Find a seat on your mat. Grab some water and towel off. So take a breath here. Let the heart rate slow down a little bit. But per usual, you have three more rounds. So I want you to complete that whole sculpting series three more times. You are going to be feeling amazing. 
All right, girls, so if you like that workout, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below and share it with your friends. Like Yoga Sculpt is what helped me lose all of my weight and I know it can help you too. It is such a killer workout. So make sure you share it because people need to know about it and you don't have to go to a studio to get it done. You can do it right here in your home with me, yay. <laughs> and don't forget to take those sweaty selfies, post them on Instagram and hashtag love sweat fitness so I can see them after you do all four rounds because you're gonna get sweaty. There's awesome girls out there that are all posting all their workouts too and you wanna see those. So check that out, post on there, and then I wanna see you on Snapchat at Love Sweat and Fit. Send me a snap, say hello during the day, and don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you next week for another awesome workout. Bye! Today I'm gonna do the ultimate Oreo challenge because I gotta know what it would take to burn off one of these if I decided to eat one as a cheat. So in one Oreo, there's 55 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, and five grams of sugar. 